Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Love. So my name is Nakia Joy and in today's video we're going to be playing with some colour. We're going to be playing with the brand new Lemonade Craze palette. Seriously the cutest palette ever. Um, brand new release, available in stores now. Um, you can get this one at Priceline and Chemist Warehouse. There are so many gorgeous warm toned shades in here. There are shimmers, mattes and some really really fun bright shades. So I thought we would create kind of like a sunset inspired eye with this palette today and I'm also going to be showing you guys a couple of cool tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your shadows so how to blend really really well and how to get maximum payoff out of shimmers so yes if you're interested in creating this sunset sort of smoky eye and playing with some color then please stick around all right so first up we want to prime our lids with a concealer or an eye primer i'm using the maybelline age rewind concealer it's a really really great primer and also you know priming the lids it really preps them for the eyeshadows it helps them to stay crease proof and it also helps them to look a lot brighter and more vibrant on the lids it's just a really really cool tip now moving into the palette honestly this is the cutest little palette ever it is the maybelline lemonade craze palette and you can see that there's just a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful mixture of really nice warm tones, shimmers and mattes in this. And it's also citrus scented. It smells so yummy. Lots and lots of pigment in these colors. And um, yeah, we're going to play with some color. So first I'm taking Lemonade Craze, this beautiful, bright, lemony yellow sort of a color. And I'm going to be working that one backwards and forwards all the way through the crease. So this is going to sort of act as a transition shade, but it's also going to add like a lot of wow factor and a lot of color to this look. So I'm doing that again on the other eye as well. Really buffing and smoking it out and then I'm moving on into this really pretty orangey sort of pastel color this is called coral punch and I'm gonna be working that one through the lower lash line on a smaller pencil brush really smoking and blowing that one out now for the super fun part this is ice pop oh my goodness I am obsessed with this color it is a super vibrant coral red and to get the most out of this type of a shadow what you want to do is alternate between packing and blending so you can see here I've used a smaller brush to really pack that pigment onto the lid and then I'm going back in with the brush that we used to blend out the yellow color earlier and softening up the edges and you want to repetitively do this until you build the color up to a level that you are happy with so first packing then buffing and doing it in this way also helps to prevent any you know harsh edges harsh lines and it creates a really gorgeous smoky effect all right going in with main squeeze now this is a really pretty shimmery vanilla kind of a gold color I'm gonna be packing that one onto the brow bone as a highlight shade just to sort of lift the whole eye look and just really brighten and open everything up. And then, oh my goodness, Sugar Coated is this incredible shimmery molten kind of a copper color in this palette. Now, I do find that they work um, really, really well with just a dry eyeshadow brush. You can see here I'm packing it onto the lid, having no issues at all. But if you want to get maximum pigmentation and payoff out of a shimmer, you can actually pack it on with a fingertip. So rub your finger in the shadow and then gently pat it onto the lid. You'll get full opacity when doing that or again you can actually wet your brush so I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Fix setting spray just to wet my eyeshadow brush then dip into the shadow then pack it onto the lid and this will create a really beautiful sort of liquid metal look now that same highlight shade that we used on the brow bone I'm packing that onto the inner corner just to really again brighten and open up the eyes and then I'm actually going to kind of repeat what I did on the upper crease so I'm going to blend yellow through the inner corner of the lower lash line and then that gorgeous coral red on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I basically just want to mirror kind of what we've got going on upstairs, downstairs as well. We're going to be creating a wing today. My all-time favorite liquid liner, the Master Precise Liquid Liner. It makes it so easy to create a wing. It's got a very, very nice fine little point on it. And it's super, super black, super pigmented and also smudge proof. So what I like to do is I like to sketch out the wing sort of over the top of the lid. Fill all of that in through the lash line. And then I'll start to create my wing on the outer a corner you can make your wing as big or as small as you want it is entirely personal it's entirely up to you I kind of have a habit of just making them bigger and bigger and bigger and then I end up with like huge wings um, but it definitely suits a colorful look and I do feel like um, you know the black liner really offsets those gorgeous warm tones from the palette so now a couple of coats of mascara I'm using the total temptation mascara again I love this one because it is smudge proof then I'm going to be popping some lashes on 
on and then that pretty much completes the eye look. To finish up the rest of the face, I'm going to add a little bit of bronze to my cheeks. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. I really, really love these ones. They're super, super smooth, really, really easy to blend and apply. And then I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbones with this incredible highlighter. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is their newest shade. It is the Molten Rose Gold shade and it is just actually blinding it's such a beautiful smooth pigmented highlighter and it lasts all day i absolutely love it and then to finish off the look and to offset all of that color on the eyes we're going to keep it neutral on the lips so i'm taking the maybelline color drama lip pencil in the shade nude perfection i really love the way a nude lipstick really offsets all of these colors it looks so so pretty so here is the finished look lots of pops of color we've got red we've got orange we've got yellow we've got that gorgeous copper on the lid i just love how like bright and summary this looks and again offset by that nude lip it is perfect well that's it for the tutorial today guys i hope that you really really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please make sure to comment like and subscribe to the makeup love channel here we would love to have you as part of the family and also let me know your thoughts on this look in the comments and also if you've got any questions of course pop them down below as well all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll talk to you all very soon bye